Like, I don't, I don't know how else I'm going to get a little darker. I don't know why I'll be trying to make me glow when I don't want to. That's probably about as good as we're going to get. Anyway, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you on live. Well, I can't see y'all. Y'all can see me. Y'all can see me, but y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I've been saving topics and stuff, trying to trying to wait till we were together again, and I just got a lot. I got a lot to say. I want to touch on two things specifically, people, not specifically, specifically. I want to touch on two things if I can, if I remember. Are we not moving this morning? What's happening? What's going on? Okay, two things specifically. One thing I want to touch on is um, what Venus Williams said at the press conference, okay? That's one thing. And the other thing I want to touch on is uh, the Monique controversy. And I don't even know why it's a controversy or whatever, okay? So... First, let's touch on, I guess, what I'm more familiar with, which is um, sports, athletics, right? So uh, if you don't know, um, gosh, and I, and I forget her name every time, I forget how to pronounce it, but it's the young tennis star who's um, a beast, and she, she's been winning Grand Slams for the past three years, I think. Anyway, she, um, she dropped out of this year's uh, tennis tournament because um, she didn't want to do press conferences. She didn't. She got fined initially $15,000 and then she just dropped out. She was like, she goes through bouts of depression and uh, I guess the news conferences after the fact trigger her depression or trigger something that is negative in her life, right? Uh, it's my fault for leaving late. These people are going to make me late. In a way. Um, so she decided to jump out of it. Uh, and, you know, people always have stuff to say about it, right? A lot of reporters, everybody got something to say about it. So Venus Williams, um, who had just lost the match, uh, she was doing a press conference and somebody asked her about it. And she basically was like, look, Everybody that be at these things and y'all be asking me questions, can't none of y'all do what I do? Ain't none of y'all better than me. So it's okay. Like, that's how I deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's what she was basically saying. Everybody was like, ooh, she dropped the mic. Ooh, anybody don't understand after that. You don't have anything to say after that. These are professional athletes. These regular people, these regular reporters, y'all not. Y'all not what they are, and you're not what you'll never be what they are. But you always got something to say. Like it's so hard. It's hard off rip being a regular athlete. These are professional athletes who play against more professional people on a higher level, and it's hard. And it is like all type of negativity. You try to trigger stuff. Oh, so and so said something, and stuff like that. Like. Let people live. You know what? Heck off to Venus Williams. Do what you do, boo. And you are absolutely correct. You and your sister have, have dominated the Tennessee for years. And people would be hard-pressed to find somebody on y'all level. So, yes, y'all leave that girl alone. She's young, too. Like, you know, that's how, that's how, stuff, that's how people self-harm. Because they feel like they don't have any other out or any other outlets. You know what I'm saying? And y'all sit up here, she should have done a press conference. No, she shouldn't have. She should have respected her mental health first, and that's what she did. My opinion. Okay, so the next thing I want to touch on is uh, the Monique thing, which basically Monique uh, made a video about women of color uh, wearing bonnets in public. I think specifically she might have been talking about the airport. Now, I will confess I did not watch the whole video, her whole video. I will confess, I did not watch the whole video. Uh, but I do know Monique. And uh, she is super opinionated. And in addition to being super funny, and uh, she's a mom, 
and she has very, 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 very strong opinions, right? As we all do, you know, and you're entitled. Um, how do you feel about Amina? I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with Monique, okay? And then yesterday or the day before or whatever, I watched a Ricky Smiley video and he was commenting on the Monique video. And he was saying that he agrees. And he agrees. And the fact that we live in a society that's full of cancel culture. And that's why people, celebrities, be afraid to say stuff. Because they're afraid they'll get canceled for having an opinion about something. First off, cancel culture is a trip. Okay? It's a trip. Because at the end of the day, it's other people's opinions that are affecting you and you're canceling someone because of their opinion like it's a continuous circle and it doesn't make any sense let people live that is a constitutional freedom of speech people let me be free to speak anyway y'all know i'll be jumping off on a tangent so basically she was saying that you know we should have more respect for ourselves and, you know, basically walk out the house with a bonnet. I totally agree. It hurts my feelings when I see women in public with bonnets, when I see little girls in public with bonnets. Like, a bonnet is for your house. Okay? I own a couple of bonnets. Okay? (laughs) I wouldn't wear them outside. I, I also come from a generation where my mama wouldn't let me come out the house looking any kind of way. Well, what's any kind of way, Mina? Any kind of way is not put together. You ain't got to be pressed and dressed like a million bucks, but you're going to be not wrinkled and you're going to look like somebody love you. You're going to look like you have the capacity to clean up and look nice and smell good. You ain't got no eye bubbles. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna dry to sleep on, on your face or nothing like that. I grew up in that time when my mama loved me enough to say, ah, you ain't gonna be looking like that. You gotta go to the house and put on some clothes to go to town or to go anywhere. Go to my auntie's house, go down the street, go wherever. But we're, we're now, and I ain't even gonna say just now because this has been happening for years. But, you know, we live in a time where people come out the house in pajamas. Like, you roll out the bed and oh, I'm just finna run to Walmart. Boo! Like, what the? What is happening in your life that you don't feel necessary to be presentable to the world? You don't know what could happen or what's about to happen. And you out here looking busted like don't nobody love you. And then Ricky made a good point, too, because he was, you know, a bonnet is to keep your hair or your hairstyle intact or in place, keep it from getting messed up. I get it. Or you might be having a bad hair day. Either or, (laughs) you know, but, um, hey, people, hey, you will oftentimes see me with a hat on. I love a hat. I love a hat. I kind of want to put on a hat right now. Can't wait to work. Uh, at this moment, that's the only reason I don't have on the hat. When I need my hair done, I'm throwing on a hat. So, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else to say it, people. I, I don't, how do y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel about the bonnet situation? I feel like it says something. I feel like it makes us play right into the stereotypes of us. And we are so much better than that. We are so much bigger than that. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It'd be a whole family. You know what I'm saying? I saw some people in my story yesterday. The mom, I'm assuming either the auntie or the big sister and the little sister. And she had to be a good five, six years old. She had on a bonnet. In the store. With some Crocs on. It's a whole nother subject. I hate Crocs. I hate Crocs. Whole nother subject, people. Whole nother subject. Anyway, that's it. That's it. If if I continue to talk about it, um, it'll just be me being on my soapbox. 
uh, trying to drive my point home. When my point is simple, um, make yourself presentable to the world. You don't know who you're going to see. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know what sort of opportunity will present itself or could present itself. And then you won't be in a position to receive it because of how you look. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying on that. Um, ah, I will leave that alone. And uh, the point I was trying to make with the whole Venus Williams story is uh, basically like stop judging people and allow people their time. This girl took time off from the sport of tennis to focus on her mental health and she was being bashed for it. This young woman was being bashed for it. What is that? Like, what is that? That should be something that is praised, not condemned. Like, that's that's nuts to me. Um, once again, these are professional athletes. And the main people that are doing the bashing are people who could never, never. What you mad for? Go find something else to report on. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it. I hope you enjoy your, what's today, Thursday? Hope you enjoy your Thursday. Happy Pride Month. All right. So y'all take it easy. Y'all smile at somebody. Allow somebody to smile at you. And y'all have an awesome day. All right.